Hey everybody, Cynical Manor here, and today we're in, back in the uh, MiG-21 fish bed, and I'll show you. Previous video, I talked about I had the Georgian colors on, but uh, I actually have them on this time. Somebody pointed out it was Bulgarian, and I apologize. I thought I selected Georgian, but they're on this time. So we're gonna go over how to uh, use the radar in the uh, MiG-21 today, and also how to lock up targets using the radar. Okay. So if we look at the aircraft on the outside, I've got uh, some of the uh, R3R. Uh, radar or semi-active radar guided missiles. Um, it's generally what you would use on a Cold War server, um, like Enigma's Cold War server. You would use those. Um, I think that's really the only air-to-air -air missiles, maybe that's on this aircraft. I could be wrong, but I think that's the only ones that you can use. Um, <clears throat> then you do have some, a few other options, like you have the R60s and things like that, which are a little bit better. Uh, but so we've got some targets up ahead and we'll get to those in just a minute but first thing I want to do is talk about the radar so this is your radar screen if we look down here and this is your radar panel here to the right okay so if we go up one that's standby we'll go ahead and put the radar in standby which I showed you how to do that in the cold start tutorial um, and so we'll go ahead and turn that on and it may need a few minutes here, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see where the aircraft is. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go back to active pause so we can catch up here. But that's on. And remember, when, when this is on, you only have about, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes of active, 20 to 20 to 25 minutes of active radar going on. So I'm going to put that back in the standby mode. Let that warm up. And um, we're going to go up here. I've got some some old Russian fuel tankers, or tankers up here, some uh, IL-78Ms flying. We're going to catch up to those. And I um, took my hands off the controls there, so we dipped down a little bit. But uh, we'll catch up to those, and I'll show you some things on that. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and turn the radar back on. Okay. All right, so we've got some uh, contacts here on the radar. Now, if you notice, uh, this is multiple contacts here. It's actually four four aircraft I know in front of us. So, go over this a little bit here on the side. So, this button here is your low altitude, and well, that's what it's set to right now. We'll click it up once, and that's kind of like medium. Man, I just keep turning in this thing. Anyway, so we keep. Uh, go up once and that's like a medium altitude uh, it just kind of gets some of the the um, ground clutter off the radar for you and if you go up one more time that'll be like your your high altitude uh, things like that but I generally leave it in the middle uh, you can find your personal preference on that okay so now if we had a lot of clouds out which we do but um, I know these aircraft are about the same altitude I'm at, uh, but we would hit this on the filters. This is our filters box up here, and uh, this would be for clouds, so we can push that to, to get rid of any clouds that might show up on the radar. Uh, this one here is uh, for your different uh, jammer modes, so this is like um, <clears throat> high jammer, medium, and low. To, now it's not for you to jam, but if like an aircraft is jamming you, uh, you would hit those to uh, try to break the jam so you could lock them up. And these down here at the bottom, uh, that's your IFF. So we're going to go ahead and interrogate those aircraft. And you see they come back as little uh, minus signs. That means they're not coming up and we're dropping an altitude here. So let me get rid of the rest and come on up. But, uh, if you will IFF them again and that shows if they were equal sign they'd be friendly negative sign means that they are uh, enemy 
or we're not able to identify them. Okay. This one here is going to be your um, low speed IF um, for like helicopters. This one is for your um, a self test on the radar, which I never use that. And this one is a reset, so we can hit that. We had the clouds on, reset that, and I'll turn everything, all the filters that we had on off. I'll turn that back on. All right, so we're looking at this here, and normally these aircraft are pretty close together, but we'll show you. I'm just looking out of the cockpit to make sure we're not crashing. Um, <clears throat> so on this, if you've got like an upside down T, that means the aircraft is below you. If you have a like the minus sign is in between the little dash, the horizontal dash there, it means they're above you. Or, I'm sorry, same altitude that you are. And if it's a straight up T, that means they're above you. Um, the radar in the MiG-21 mostly looks up. I think it looks like one and a half or 1.5 degrees downward, but it mostly looks up from the aircraft. So, Let's look at some controls here. So, if you look at this, you only have two slew ranges on the uh, on the radar. You have basically up and down. Uh, on the keyboard, there's zero and or O and L, uh, Oscar and Lima. Uh, but um, I have those bound to my um, my joystick <clears throat> on a hat switch and. You can move it up and down, but you cannot go side to side. So you kind of have to put the aircraft that you're looking at in the in that box. So we'll do that. We'll we'll come over. We'll put the first aircraft in the box here. But before we do that, let's take a look at this. These are our weapons. All right. So we've already armed our gun, and you just push that here. You'll hear like a almost sounds like a gun going off, like a pow. Um, and I'm sorry I did that before I started the video. But uh, for the semi-active radar, uh, we'll have to go down on the second switch here to SAR. And we'll leave that to the up in the air position. And we're just going to come over and we're going to lock up the first target. There we go. Now you can see here on our pipper that target is out there and what I did to lock that up is I went over here to uh, controls and I always keep that uh, target lock on button always it's it's enter on just about every aircraft I always keep that on a certain button on my joystick just so I can lock things up easier so we've got that lit up and we're gonna have to come into range on that so we're just gonna increase power a little bit Get over there to it. Until we get a nice tone. Now, one thing I do want to let you know is while we're searching for this, you see these horizontal bars here on each side? They'll come in. When they get in this area here, we're in range and you'll get a launch and a HR bar here that lights up. And we're climbing, so we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to get closer to the target. We'll take a look at the map here and see where we're at. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. Oh, there we got a tone. See, we if we launch now, we're, we're going to miss. And we're in the cloud, so it's a good thing that we selected the cloud filter. So it doesn't mess us up. So we're just watching those bars. You can see that they're coming in. They were out here. Now they're getting close. So we're, more, we're almost to launch range. And when we get to launch range, we're going to go back into the controls. We're going to look and we're going to go weapons release button. I've got that bound to a joy, joy button too on my HOTAS. Uh, but um, we'll hit that to launch the weapon. see out there the planes flying. 
Alright, so we got a queue. We got a queue here saying that we're in range, and we got queues here saying that we're in launch range. So we're going to go ahead and box one. she goes. Alright, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty easy to, to lock that up. So we're going to reduce on the throttle here and we're going to get behind these other guys. And I'm going to show you something else about the radar. We're just keeping them in visual sight. I'll throw out the old speed brake here. Let's see that deployed outside. Come in behind them. Say, hey, how you doing? Now I'm at idle with the speed breakout, and we're still we're still pretty fast. I'm just watching. So one other thing I did want to show you on the radar is, let me get behind these guys here and I'll show you. Man, they're going slow. We're at like landing speed now. Alright, so there's a, like a dogfighter mode. If you flip this switch up here, I'll put you in dogfight mode. Just gonna increase power so we're not stalling out here. And I'm trying to get that plane there in front of us. Pull up a little hard. And you just lock him up automatically in dogfight mode. And we'll fox one. Take him out real quick. And Fox one again. And it's pretty simple. But anytime, like, uh, just say we took all those planes out, and we're gonna take this out of dogfight mode. We're gonna put that in standby again. And I've got a, I've got a switch on my throttle, just to. Or you can see it it'll turn it on and off on and off and that's just to keep that um, radar from overheating uh, you do have I'll turn it on it's not on right now because we still have coolant in the uh, radar but there is a red light that comes on down here to show you that that is uh, starting to overheat and that you need to go ahead and um, turn it off before you run out of coolant completely But hopefully that was uh, helpful for you guys and uh, shows you how to lock up targets and how to use the radar on the MiG-21 Biz. So hopefully you enjoyed that and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.